So I'm out here, we're selling the blue Mustang and apparently somebody just stole it. <laughs> seemed legit, seemed everything was fine. Just bailed. I, I'm so confused right now. Call the cops. This is ridiculous. Just stole our Mustang. Wow. This is pretty crazy. I don't know what's gonna happen, what we're gonna do, but we'll figure it out, I guess. Still nothing, calling around, trying to figure stuff out. But yeah, this guy's gone. Won't respond to his phone calls. This is ridiculous. I can't believe it. So we're just gonna post it on social media, you know, just try to get the word out there. Somebody sees a blue GT 350R, no stripes on it. Man, I mean, the rims alone are like four grand a piece. Oh, this is crazy, guys. I've never had an experience like this before, but the cops are being really cool, you know. So apparently that Jeep right there is stolen too, and that's the car that he came on. I guess he's just flipping cars or something. This is crazy, guys. Nothing like this ever happened to us before. I mean, was, everything seemed legit. He seemed really nice, cool guy. I, I just don't understand. And it makes no sense. Wow. It has begun. So the cops basically said there's not much we could do right now. Just it's a waiting game. I got all the information, but this is crazy. Like, That's never, crazy. Yeah. never had a car stolen before. The guy seemed legit. Everything seemed fine. Wow, I don't, I don't even know. I mean, I'm actually gonna hopefully drive around a little bit and see maybe it's somewhere. Who knows? I mean, we'll just take the next exit, drive around. Yeah, guys, be careful out there. I mean, he has a high dollar car. <clears throat> We're being cautious, but wow. Stay tuned. I don't know. Hopefully, we figure it out. Dang, dude, I don't know what's happening, but we just got a picture of the Mustang at somebody's yard. They basically painted the rims. It's crazy. I don't know. We're gonna go there and check it out. We got an address. We're gonna go get our car back. Let's do it, man. This is crazy. I don't know. Alright guys, so we're driving, we're about to hit Georgia right now. There's a state line, there's still a little bit to go, but we're getting some more information. We got some friends in the area checking it out. Man, this is crazy. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna get our car. The Mustang is not in the driveway, it's not at the house, so we're driving around downtown, basically in his backyard, searching for this thing. If we just see it part, I mean, it's like eight o'clock, nine o'clock on a Tuesday night. I don't know what he's doing, so just looking around. There's people at his house. If he pulls back up to let us know. <laughs> Got some friends in the area. They're helping us out, so it's great. We're just driving around, scoping the area, looking for our Mustang. No updates yet. I mean, so we're driving down the road. His house is literally two minutes down the road. We don't think the Mustang's there, but we're just trying to scope out the area. So our buddy legit found the guy that stole our car, but he's at a hotel room. Now he's leaving the hotel. I don't even know. It's like one in the morning. I don't know what's going on. What's going to happen? <laughs> Stay tuned. We do you have snacks though? We do got snacks. All right, guys. So it's about, been about like two, three hours of just waiting. Basically a stakeout. <laughs> he's going to pull up. We're going to see him. Cops are out there too looking for him. We're, we're getting our car back for sure. I mean... Yeah, he's got it, but not for long. 
It's a waiting game now. All right, guys, so it's 7.30 a.m. Still no sign of the car, but we're in his neighborhood. We know where he's at. We've identified him, but we haven't seen the car. It's been more like 13 hours since we've been going at this, but we ain't giving up. We're gonna find it. <sighs> Still no news. I'm pretty sure they know we're out here waiting. I mean, it's almost been 24 hours kind of thing, so let's see what happens. Okay. Well, we're gonna go hook up our trailer because we disconnected the trailer, but we're gonna hook it up and then he just texts us and we'll slowly head over there. I mean, that's fine. You guys can search him. All right, guys. So the cop just called. He said they located the car. Woo! I guess it wasn't at his house because we remember that search warrant to go in that garage. We're about to bust in ourselves. I'm happy we didn't. You never know what's going to happen. So they found it somewhere like 20 minutes down the road. Probably, you know, dumped it somewhere, but. About to get the text message, the address for it. We're about to go and get it. We're hooking up the trailer again. Let's go. 24 hours in the stakeout, just waiting. Ah, let's do it. Let's go. We I mean, haven't seen the car yet, but this is great news. There it is, pulling up to it. Ooh, a, a random church. There we go. Thank you, Jesus. There Ooh. it is. Right there. Oh, muffler, bu bumper's messed up. Oh, it's an expensive oh. bumper. Oh, whatever. The car's there. Oh, yay. Wow. Do we get a Georgia tag? Oh. I see it though. It's there. <sighs> All right, guys, so there it is. They recovered it. I mean, we're honestly super happy and stoked that we have the car. Yeah, it's damaged. I mean, obviously, he went off-roading and stuff, ditched it, but there it is. Nothing we ever fixed before. <laughs> oh, man, it's crazy. Hopefully, we'll get inside. Hopefully, the key's inside. Yeah, hopefully, something's there. 
my drone is in the trunk and stuff like that with some tools, but. All right, guys, so the cops did their investigation on it, got the fingerprints, they swept it. We signed it off, and now we're gonna take it home. So let's go ahead and get a load on the trailer, go back home. Man, what a journey. That was a crazy experience. Never never had anything like that before, but we're just happy the car's there. They didn't just like part it off, put it in a container, ship it to Russia, or burn it, you know, whatever. He had joy, a joy run, he had fun on it, and then just left it, but dang, let's keep going. They got them. So sad. All that work, all, all those hours destroyed. And we didn't even get to enjoy it. I mean, we, I baby this thing. I told he you to let me drive it more. I yeah, think. yeah, Peter. We should have let you drive it to destroy it. I kept begging him to let me drive it. He's like, no, you'll have to. Dang. Drive it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Got it back. All good. guys so we're about to go eat but a huge shout out to car wars so it was there the whole time i mean he's at the shop with us got in the truck no questions asked he said let's go got some let's, tools let's get it yeah he got some tools fortunately we didn't have to use them because you know those tools you know, it's all good we have to use them but he came he was there the whole time what kind of tools did you get man no, let's not talk about it no, <laughs> right, about it. don't even worry about it you know, i mean like some tools recovering tools <laughs> but anyways it was, it was a long 24 hours Big longer, thanks yeah. to you know you guys and yeah, yeah, no, I'm glad we got it. I mean, now I drive back home, but man, it's a good, it's a good feeling. Whew, there it is. All right, we got one more shout out we got to do. I mean, honestly, we probably wouldn't have the car back if it wasn't for him. Tally, come on, baseline, huge shout out. Woo! Guy, all we got way, it back. All That's the right. way for sure. He got all the evidence that we I'm needed. more excited than these guys are. Some stuff I didn't want to say on tape, honestly, but he, he got us all the information we needed, the plate numbers, he tracked down people for us. It was like in sketchy neighborhoods, you know, behind bushes, but we got all the information we had to get. So thank you so much. The baseline was coming clutch, Woo! as always. 100%. Came yeah. in there, first, second, third, I'll get all of them. Just yeah. for the record, they did, they did offer me a test drive, so, you know, that's coming <laughs> well, soon. Yeah, coming soon to, to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> we've, got a, we've got some work ahead of us, but appreciate it. Thank you so much, Baseline, all, right. all the help. Everything that came out there. Yeah, he was the first no problem. one to see. No he problem. was there for us right away. It was great. Yeah, good luck fixing this thing. Um, you guys could check out my content. I'm fixing pretty much the same thing, but a little more powerful. Something that's going to put fear into this thing. <laughs> Want it's all fixed and all that. But All right, all right. Challenge yeah. accepted. Let's do it. Maybe with these modified, highly modified wheels, uh, you guys will have a chance. But until then, We'll see. Yeah. We want to really thank all you guys out there for getting together. It was amazing to see all the car community just gather together, sharing, you know, hey, stolen, this and that, checking all the leads out. And if it wasn't for you guys, for sure, we wouldn't have found it. And a great shout out to the people that were local that seen the car and helped us out and everything like that. I mean, couldn't do it without you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a good night. Okay, so kind of a recap what happened. 
Sunday, like we said, we're gonna go sell the car. We pull up over there. This is honestly the second time this guy's looking at the car. So, me and brother both come. We're not sketched out at all. He's asking all the right questions. So everything seemed fine to me. We're going through it. It's been like an hour or something. He's like looking at it. He found every single little scratch and dent on it. You know, if anything wrong. Everything seemed okay. I went with him in the test drive. You know, we sell cars all the time. It's not like our first time. Go do what you want. No, we were, you know, being smart. It was a big investment. <laughs> being cautious about it, but he just ready for that right opportunity, that right moment. I mean, from the get-go, all the messages, all the story was fake. He came in that stolen car. His intention was to steal it. So like, he kind of buttered me up at first with all his messages, you know, like he's super interested, he's a YouTuber, he does all this stuff, I'm like, that's cool, you know, whatever, sounds good. But then, basically had the right moment, and he booked it, he left, and then there's not much you could do. At first you're shocked, you're just like, what just happened? And he's got 30 seconds on you, and then you just see him go on the highway, he's gone. I mean, we try to catch up on the Raptor, we try to look for him, but it's crazy. So when you guys are selling cars out there, just be careful, make sure you get a you know, picture of his license or something. And, I honestly recommend some kind of trackers or something, the GPS, that's probably what we're gonna do now. So a huge sh shout out to you guys, like I said before, social media, and just that car community coming together, you know, helping us out. I mean, dang, never would've got it without you guys. I'm so happy we got it back. <sighs> nice, feels good to be home with the car. We got some work to do ahead of us, but we're safe, everything's okay. Thank the Lord.